Welcome to our technical video series on how to build custom decentralized applications with the Horizon sidechain technology called Zendu. This is the fourth episode of this video series. In the last episode, we discussed the second Horizon sidechain SDK macro elements group of transaction. In this video, I discuss the sidechain SDK API extension. Communication between a user and a sidechain node is supported via HTTP requests called API call. We will look at how API classes are organized, what logic is present out of the box in the SDK core, and how custom applications could extend the API, add new or remove and or replace existing core behaviors following the Lambo registry application as an example. Implementation of custom API consists of two steps. Implementation of API endpoints by inheriting from application API group class, registering the newly created endpoints in the node HTTP server. Application API group is the base class for any custom API group, which gives the developer a possibility to declare a new group of API by specifying the group base path and to set the list of routes processing methods inside the get routes method. Note, the sidechain API server is based on top of an AKKA HTTP library. There are almost no limitations on AKKA HTTP usage, so developers can implement any kind of API requests using a Java DSL schema. Another method in the application API group class is the utility method used to declare post HTTP endpoints and provide these endpoints with the access to the sidechain node view to the history, state, wallet, and memory pool. Let's see how to use application API group. As an example, we defined a new API group class, simple custom API with a base path, custom secret, and implemented three post HTTP endpoints to get the secrets information from the wallet using the utility methods defined in the application API group. The first route, get end secrets, is going to return the end secrets stored in the node wallet. It takes a single Java class argument that represents the post request JSON body data. Inside the methods, we take the list of secrets from the wallet. Note, when we need to get info from the sidechain node view, we must lock it to be sure that no changes to the node occur during data collection. To do this, we call the functions applier method defined in the parent application API group class. There's another way to access node view elements. We can define the method with a different argument set, starting with sidechain node view, then the post request body class. In this case, the node view is locked during the entire endpoint method execution. We suggest you do this only for lightweight fast requests that need access to the node view. Accessing the sidechain node view on demand, like in get end secrets functions, is preferable. Let's go back to get routes methods and see how they can become a part of the API group. First, we create an empty list of AKKA HTTP routes and then append it with the final post endpoints using the bind post request utility method where we define the endpoint path, like get end secrets. The route processing method and Java class where a serialized request body is placed if it exists. This body data container class should be defined in a simple way. We need to introduce a proper setter method for every JSON field we expect in the body. For example, the integer field secret count, we will define the set secret count method. What about endpoint result type? In case of a successful result, we need to create a class that implements the success response interface. If there's an error, we need to create a class that implements an error response interface. In both cases, we should specify JSON view attributes that will be used under the hood to transform the response data to JSON. Let's switch to the Lambo registry code and see how the custom API was implemented there. Lambo registry's business logic requires the ability to declare a new car, create a car sell order, and to accept or cancel car sell order. To do this, we implemented a car API class based on the application API group class. The base path was defined as car API and four routes were added according to the business logic. For example, the create car API endpoint full path is equal to the API server address slash car API slash create car. The create car method locks the sidechain node view and accepts the create car box request instance as body request data. The create car box request class expects the car attributes fields, owner proposition, and transaction field. 
The create car method verifies that request inputs are valid and tries to collect regular boxes from the wallet. But in order to complete the transaction, we must define the output change as needed. The create car method then tries to create the corresponding car declaration transaction and return the bytes representation as the result of the API request through the transaction response class, which is inherited from the success response interface. In case of an error, the instance of car response error is returned. That's all that we need to know about custom API processing classes implementation. The next point is how to make it visible to the side chains HTTP server. For the new API, we need to declare a list of application API group and place the instances of custom classes there. In our case, it is an instance of car API. If you want to disable any core API endpoints, you should specify the path to those endpoints in the list, where each entry of the list is a pair of base path and endpoint names. For example, if you want to disable balance API endpoint of wallet group, you will do it like this. Last but not least is the possibility to substitute some of the core endpoints with the custom processing methods. To do this, developers need to define a custom application API group class, similar to car API class, and specify the base path and the endpoint name equal to the one in the core API. In this case, the node HTTP server will automatically choose the custom class method to process the API request from the users. That's all that we need to know about API extension functionalities. In this video, we were able to see sidechain SDK API related classes structure, how to use those classes to implement custom APIs, and how to substitute or disable core API endpoints. This and more information can be found in the sidechain SDK and Lambo registry GitHub repos and in our documentation web portal. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time.